The AP stress score, which is a sum of all the muscle activity about the spine, provides a baseline for each patient, making the tracking of spinal progress as simple as tracking blood pressure. In addition, this powerful new view on static SEMG increases reproducibility of scans significantly by removing body sway as a factor in the important standing static test. With the patient on screen, you can see readings are higher on the left side in this test, higher on the right side in this, but when viewed as the EP stress score, there's only three millionth of a volt difference between both tests. The EP stress score helps you keep patients focused on function instead of symptoms. At the patient's first visit, you can see their baseline is 363. At four to six weeks, it's 202, and at 12 weeks, it's 119. The only other condition you will typically see are patients who begin with a low baseline. Here we have 119. These are the chronic patients with significant muscle fatigue. As we go to four to six weeks of re-exam, you'll see a significant increase in activity as muscles start firing more normally, which will then balance out over time.